Today I'm going to be trying cubedust.io, more specifically the three games on the play tab. So the first game is 1v1 where we go head to head with another player, and the first player to five wins, wins the whole thing. So I'm going to join a lobby, and I'm going to start now. 12.25, not bad. So I did not win that first round. The other player, Nada Music, got 8.38. Shout out to them. Ooh, 11.61. Okay, lost that one too. Okay, 12.87. But it seems like I'm gonna win. Yes, I won by 0.1 seconds. Okay, my first win of this game. Okay, not the great assault. Okay, this is a deciding factor, because if he wins this one, then he wins the whole thing, and he lost this one, so I still have a chance. Okay. Oh, so they won that one, which means that they won the whole challenge. Let's see if I do better on the next game. Okay, this next game is Elimination. You start with a sub 30 second solve, then it gets 5% faster with each solve, and basically to push you to your limit of how fast you can solve. So my goal right now is a sub 30 solve. I should be able to do pretty easily, even though I messed up here. Now the time limit is 28.5. Now obviously these first few rounds are easy, but then there's a certain point where it starts getting hard. Okay, this is when it starts getting kind of hard because we're at the 13 second time limit. Oh, and I made a mistake. And this might be where I failed. Oh, I could have done a few more than that because I do average like sub 13-ish, but this solve was particularly bad. But I did 15 solves. So the final game here is probably the hardest one yet, and it's Gauntlet. Attempt to beat every 3x3 world record since 1982. So that's everything from Mintai's 22 second solve to Yu Sheng Du's 347, which I know I can't solve a 3x3 in under 347, but let's see how far I can go. Oh wow, that was a pretty good solve. So I don't know if there's like a, a timer here telling me what time I have to beat. Or maybe this is just every world record scramble. This is definitely the most confusing game out of the three. I am getting some pretty good times in these scrambles, so maybe these are the world record scrambles. Okay, yeah, I confirmed that this is the world record scrambles. These scrambles are all very easy, and this one specifically is Felix Zemdegs' 6.65. I'm gonna see how fast I can do this. So I did it in not 6.65. I just wish they would tell you the, you know, the world record time and the name, because I keep having to search it up like this and see that this is a 4.90. And I think that's it. The, the screen just went black. Yeah, so that was the gauntlet game. Uh, definitely, I think in my opinion, the, the worst executed of the three ones, just because I think it should have had like the time and the name of the person who got the world record there, that would have been cool. But overall, I think this is a very much needed website for cubing because cube timing software hasn't really been improved since like CS timer, because that's basically what everyone's been using for the past as long as I can remember. And I like that it has these games and it has a trainer all in one place. Uh, I think I might just stick with cubing time as my main timer just because it has all my APB saved and everything. But that's definitely a great option uh, if you don't know what timer to use. So definitely make sure to share this video with cubers you know who are looking for a timer site or who maybe haven't heard of Cube Desk. Also like this video and subscribe if you want to see more cubing content like this. And I'll see you in my next video.